Hi guys, so Bioma launched their body care line and I made sure to pick up some products to try out. So they launched three body washes, one exfoliant, two treatments and three body lotions. The body lotions and washes are divided into three. One is hydrating, the other is brightening and lastly sensitive. Whereas the exfoliant is a body polish and for the treatment we have a body oil and a body serum. So there's something for everyone to try out. If there's one thing I like about Bioma aside from their packaging it has to be the fact that they put the steps as to how to use their products on their packaging which makes it very easy i'm not saying they're the first brand to do it but i like it so for people who are not like so sure of what to use first you can you know learn from there so for the body care line the first step is for to exfoliate exfoliate is just like how we use body scrubs all over our bodies next is to cleanse which is when you use like your cleanser most people tend to cleanse first then exfoliate regardless of how you want to do it that's fine but according to the bioma body care routine you exfoliate first then cleanse then you treat next you moisturize and step five is to protect so far i haven't seen a step five yet with all i have called so maybe they are cooking up a body body sunscreen so let's see how that goes so i picked up the brightening body wash the brightening body lotion and the smoothing body serum and i have used two out of three if you guessed right i'm yet to use the smoothing body serum so what i'll do is i'm going to show you the packaging also show you what they look like and share with you guys my thoughts on these products if you haven't subscribed to the channel already now is the perfect time for you to hit that subscribe button also turn post notification on so that you don't miss out on future uploads so i'm going to start with the brightening body wash so this body wash retails for 12 pounds for 400 ml it's a decent size i love when brands bring out like one liter body wash or there's a refill for it so i would love to see a refill for this in a different packaging. I will show you guys what the consistency looks like and how well it does lather right now. It pops open like so. And now I'm just going to dispense it. You guys can see that this is cloudy and because of how bright the light is, you won't really see that this is sort of yellow. In terms of how it smells, it smells citrusy. When you add water to it, even on dry skin, ladders pretty well without water and when you add water it does ladder very well after you rinse your body and you towel dry you don't feel stripped whatsoever the next product you should use is biomer smoothing body serum this is said to be a lightweight body serum that works to clarify and treat rough and bumpy skin after cleansing it is formulated with powerhouse ingredients barrier lipids succin acid and blue tansy to quickly and effectively treat body blemishes and breakout and other areas of concerns like kp smoothing skin texture without stripping the skin barrier it claims to be alcohol free and fragrance free but in the inky i can see that this product has a lot of fragrance in there so I don't know if it's a typo. So this body serum retails for 14 pounds for 200 ml. So it's two pounds more expensive and 200 ml short when compared to the body wash. So how to use this product? It should be applied on clean, dry skin. So of course my skin is clean and dry. I'm just going to open up like so. Dispense the product. I wasn't expecting this so this is the color of this serum i feel it looks more like a lotion to me i'm gonna use my fingers to blend this into my hand and let's see all right so i understand why it is called a serum spread it in it's like you just spread a serum on your hand or you have water spread on. The fragrance on this is really strong. You perceive it as soon as you blend in. I'm just going to wait for this to air dry and I'll let you guys know if I'll still perceive it. Because if you're someone who doesn't like your products containing fragrance, then this serum is something you should not bother purchasing because it is strong. I kind of find it 
a bit overpowering so here's what the back of my hand looks like after application the serum has definitely dried down and it's matte like it looks like i have nothing on there the fragrance that i could smell or the scent that i got from this has dropped down a bit but it's still there so i'm just going to move on to the body lotion it's the same packaging you also have to do the whole twist and turn till it pops up so i'm going to show you guys what the body lotion looks like so it looks whiter than the body serum i'm just going to blend this in so this retails for 13 pounds for 400 ml so it's like one pound more expensive than the body wash so i'm waiting for the body lotion to air dry in terms of how it smells i'd say that it's giving me the same vibe as the serum in fact all three products smell alike and um, combining the lotion with the serum is giving me a bit of headache because of how it smells so most people may find this crazily overpowering i have to say crazily because i'm having headache because of how it smells i wish they made a fragrance free version so maybe the sensitive one may be fragrance free i don't know and on the website it claims that it's fragrance free i don't know if it's a typo but this contains a whole bunch of fragrance that i do not like so here's what the back of my palm looks like after the lotion has dried down it's really nice soft and feels thick, um, silky okay guys i just noticed a bit of peeling going on here see Do you guys see it? So because this is peeling, I know that the body lotion on its own does not peel me because I've been using it for about a week now. Um, so I think it's because I paired the body lotion with the serum. But I'll try it again on my body tonight, all over, and let you guys know if this will cause. Um, because I, I don't really get what's going on here. Overall, not bad i just wish they went light-handed with the fragrance maybe put something sweet and not lemony and citrusy i don't really like that um i look forward to them releasing body butters because that would be my preference in terms of the texture of the body lotion which i feel like should have been well whipped this one is like really lightweight and a lot of people would like it but then for my skin i have to pay it up with oil so i look forward to them releasing body butters also since they have a protect option it means that they'll be coming out with body sunscreens in the future so um i look forward to that is this something i recommend to be honest um on one hand i want to say yes and on the other hand i want to say no the no part is because of how it smells but the yes part is because the packaging is so cute and um the products are lightweight nice on the body non-stripping or drying at least so fast the ones i've been using that's why i wouldn't say yes but like the smell is quite strong so it would take you going to the store to if you have it around you i think you should go to the store to try out a sample first because if I had known, I would have just told my friend to help me sniff them to check. Um, because right now I kind of like regret not checking. But I would still use these products. Except I have like serious headache when I use them. Then I will have to discard them. So far it's the first day I'm pairing both the serum and the body lotion together. So let's see how it goes so let me know in the comment section if you'll be picking any of these products up or any products from your body care line if you've already tried it i'd also love to hear from you so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you found it helpful if you did let me know in the comment section also give this video a thumbs up share it subscribe down below hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys thank you so much for watching